Well, folks, one of the people who has worn up probably as much shoe leather than anyone else at this show at Con Expo 17 is Larry Stewart, who is the uh, editor for Construction Pros. And I think Larry's been in every nook and cranny of this show since the, the day it opened, the moment it opened, and maybe even beforehand. But Larry has got some insightful information to share with all of us about his impressions of the show and what have you found us so far? Uh, well, you know, I think the, one of the big surprises was the, the positive economic news that we heard. Uh, right. And it's largely anecdotal, but it's not, it's not people talking about uh, election euphoria. There are people booking business both on the contractor side and the equipment manufacturer side that they weren't necessarily expecting from the show. They wanted from the show, but they weren't necessarily expecting it. Right. Um, and uh, so everybody's cautiously uh, optimistic. optimistic. Yeah, they're yeah, they're yeah. guarding their their outlooks for 2017. No one's changing their 2017 outlooks just yet. Right. But it looks like they might. Um, and that's and that's really really a good sign. And, and on you know. On top of that, uh, you know, we've just finished the last of the EPA um, emissions tier regulations oh, that's right. deadlines, yeah. and so we, you know, just in the last couple of years here, so it's given the manufacturers a chance to spend some R and D money on other stuff. Uh, sure. You know, on, on new on, innovation. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And and uh, while it doesn't sound like a new innovation, uh, the telematics story has developed from more than boxes on machines to starting to realize some of the some of the really lofty but very achievable uh, benefits of a technology that's recording everything your machine's doing and communicating it, communicating it back to a place where that data can be analyzed. And right. The manufacturers, I think, have, have realized that that uh, you know their customers aren't data scientists, yeah. uh, and so what they're doing is employing their own data scientists and staffing up. Uh, uh, operations like Caterpillar's Productivity Services uh, Group. Okay, people on the ground, training people, working with dealers to go out and talk to customers to figure out ways to help customers run their operations more productively. Not ways to sell them more parts, not ways to figure yeah. out ways to, to, yeah. to get more money out of them, but they're realizing that there's so much potential to improve the, the productivity of contractors' operations that they're willing to, to spend the time and the energy and the money, yeah. and there's you know there are fees associated with all sure, these things, sure. and, but they're you know they're things that that you can negotiate in with the price of a of a, a machine purchase. There's lots of different ways to pay for it, and there is absolutely no way if you participate in this, these programs and if you cooperate with these guys, there's absolutely no way that you will not earn every nickel times five back. Uh, with these, these well, don't you think too? On the flip side, there's more acceptance on the part of the contractors oh, yeah. and the operators. Yep, yep. The the, the curve is definitely we're, we're we're climbing the curve. I yeah. guess is the best yeah. way to say it. Uh, you know, there, there's been a really long time where uh, the, the adoption has been relatively slow, and the manufacturers are going to change that. They're going to start investing resources, marketing essentially resources. And, and development resources too in developing programs that help contractors do their business better. Uh, and really interesting, and, and you see it, uh, uh, technology is literally at the physical center of Caterpillar's yeah. booth and John Deere's booth and a number of big stands, big brand name stands right. here, where they're just saying, hey, this is, this is our primary product. We right. have great iron. Here are some new machines, and, and they have had, had definitely had new machines. But you know, here's a way to, to do your business yeah. better. Yeah. Um, and and the, the machines are getting more interesting. The machines are, you know, uh, I think they're benefiting from the data. Uh, you know, you, when you see a 280 horsepower uh, John Deere bulldozer, uh, the new 950K, uh, that's available with a six-way power angle tilt blade on it, you know, a monster tractor with yeah. the ability to do fine yeah. grading work. Somebody must have saw some data and said, hey, this is an opportunity right. because who would sure. do that? Um, and, uh, you know, there's... Versatility. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and other technologies like constant velocity transmissions sure. climbing up into oh, 300 geez. plus horsepower wheel loaders. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the money's being spent on developing new products. JCB got into the access, scissor, scissor lifts and boom lifts, got into the access business this month. Uh, uh, you know, JLG uh, is selling uh, 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 utility vehicles. You know, Oshkosh builds them. Right. Now they're JLG's branding them. Uh, uh, 
JCB put a uh, uh, telehandler style boom on a skid steer loader, a teleskid. So you've got a, a skid steer loader with 13, more than 13 feet of dump height. You know, and that's, that's pretty amazing right there. And can actually do telehandler style work. Yeah. Uh, um, so I mean, there's a I get, there's a there's a big list. I mean, you go on go on the Con Expo channel at Four Construction Pros and scroll down. It just goes on and on. That in itself is worth pointing out. There's we're not just talking about emissions uh, upgrades anymore. Right. There's just a lot of new machinery right. uh, in the marketplace. It, it was fascinating to me was the fact that machines apparently now machines can talk to attachments, but attachments can also talk to machines. Right. Right. And that's never been done before, at least from my viewpoint. Yeah, well, I mean, the telematics systems have gotten to the point where, you know, they can track them yeah. easy, easily enough. Right. And the, the chips are, are inexpensive and, the, and sure. the technology's all there. You just plug the thing in and, and it'll tell them, uh, the machine, what the temperature is of the hydraulic system. Well, I don't know what's on the horizon. That's probably neither one of us do, but it's going to be very exciting, I think, yeah. going forward. Yeah. This is, this is really a humming vibrant industry yeah it really is it really is there uh, you know between between the the emissions regulation uh, investment that was required for right. 15 years yeah. essentially yeah. and the you know in the middle of smack in the middle of that a big recession con expos have have gotten to be gotten to be sort of thin a little a little not thin but just heavily structured you know there's right. a lot of boundaries right. uh, although a lot of those boundaries are coming off yeah exactly well, I certainly appreciate you coming by, stopping and talking to us and giving your analysis of what you found at the show because I think it's been just a wonderful show this time around. From the last three years and the one previous to that, boy, there was a lot of malaise about we don't know where it's going or how it's going to get there. And now I think there's a lot of positive outlook energy that at least I got from the people that I talked to in the booth. So yeah, that's good to know. You were out in the field, I was here, and uh, it's been a great show. Yeah, well, we had a big crew. Uh, you know, there's a, the whole four construction pros staff has been crawling all over this place. I haven't been into every nook and cranny. Luckily, <laughs> I didn't have to be, uh, but I have seen a good bit of it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's been fun. Thanks a lot hey, for having me, Ryan. Thanks, appreciate right. it. Larry Stewart is editor of four construction pros, and we're live from Con Expo 17.